Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, now don't all fall off your seats in shock because I'm reviewing Fedora. Wow, I know I normally stick to Ubuntu and Debian based Linux systems, but hey, let's do something a little bit different and check out Fedora 26. So I'm looking at the installer first, and this is a nice feature here, it's selected the three local languages to me. English, Welsh and Cornish? Nah, Cornish isn't technically a language. <laughs> Troll them. Yeah, okay, that's the three closest regions to me for languages. And yep, United Kingdom automatically selected. I'm impressed already. So I've opted for the workstation install here. So this is a build from scratch, pretty much. It's uh, very similar to the Debian net install. In fact, Fedora does share some very similar principles to Debian, really in that I would say it's more like the Debian testing, really, even though it's released on a fixed point, but Red Hat is more like the stable release. That's the pay-for version sold to enterprise environments and yeah, makes Red Hat a lot of money. So this is the software selection. Now, I believe by default, Fedora favors the GNOME desktop, but you can have quite a few different other desktops here. So we could have KDE, Xface, LXDE, Hawaii. Hawaii is a bit unusual. It's it was more of a development, really. I didn't think they were anywhere near final release. LXQt, Cinnamon, Mate, Sugar. <laughs> Check out my Linux desktop series if you want to see some of those desktops that are a bit more obscure, like Sugar and Hawaii. And you can choose add-ons for a selected desktop environment. So I opted for the Mate desktop and just taking a look through some of the options we can have. So Mate Compiz, Mate Applications, LibreOffice as well as yeah, quite a few different others here, really. Medical applications, yeah, I'm sure that's going to be a common choice, isn't it? But it makes it really easy to choose different software that you'd like on your system. But you can sit back, let the install take place, grab a drink, come back, and your system's fully built to how you want it. So here's the full install of Fedora with the Mate desktop, and I have to say it is pretty damn quick and responsive. Taking a look at the memory usage first. I was a bit shocked initially that it was using nearly one gig of RAM. In fact, it seems to fluctuate quite wildly, really. It's not consistent because I've had it as low as 300 meg of RAM and yet as high as over one gig. So yeah, just repeating the test a few times here and you can see the numbers have changed. What does top say? About 412, 406 in use. Yep, yeah, as I said, it's been lower than that. And the GUI shows quite a bit higher, really. So yeah, it's a good thing we opted for the terminal version this time because it showed a much lower figure. At least I got all four CPU cores working this time around, unlike Solid XK. So Fedora uses RPM packages, but you also have the option of using Flatpak and Snaps. And the installation of packages is carried out by DNF, or Dandified Yum. We have a GUI version here called DNF Dragora. That's what came pre-installed on my system, so hey, I'm using it. So a short list of packages to update. Vim? Why Vim? I don't know. Anyway, check all, apply. Uh, yeah, go for it. Well, that was quick and painless. The list of applications here is a little bit um, sparse compared to what I've been used to. I have had to add a repository in for VLC, because I fancied trying to install VLC. Yeah, got it working. What was the name of the repository I used? I can't even remember now. Sorry, this is showing my lack of familiarity with Fedora. So download1.rpmfusion.org. That was recommended on the VLC website. Do I get anything like Kodi now? I can't get used to having to click search each time. NVIDIA. Now this is where I stumbled a bit because I thought NVIDIA should be in the repositories already. There's more to the driver than just those few packages. Messer is in the repositories, so yeah, if you're using the AMD, Intel or the Novu graphics drivers, that's easy to install, as well as such items as VDPAU. Well, okay, I'm not really sure what else to discuss though because I'm using a non-standard desktop. I suppose let's take a look at some responsiveness of it. How quick do the applications open? Well, not very quick first time there, but yeah, that's the first time run of LibreOffice, so let's go back and take another look at it. LibreOffice Writer, yeah, much quicker on the second run. How's the presentation here? Pretty good, really. 
looks nice and clear. Icons are colourful and have rendered nicely. Graphics, well I didn't choose to install anything like GIMP or Inkscape, so that's a bit limiting. Internet, Firefox, yeah. Again, a bit sluggish on the first run, but second run, yeah, much quicker. So it's doing some caching now after the applications are opened. That's fine. Yeah. Ubuntu and Debian have a very similar behavior. The default homepage for Firefox is the Fedora project. Open up the Kaha file manager. Is this a new feature where it can show the terminal there? I can't remember. Now this is Mate version 1.18, so could be a new feature, in which case I like it very much. Not quite as convenient as the shortcut on Dolphin, which is F4. Now it's Control Shift and T here. Yeah, nice. The icons are a bit um, basic and ugly. And what else do we have? Hardware, anything much? No, these are all like the stock Mate applications, aren't they? Appearance. Let's go to Firefox. Also, we've got a few different themes we can use. Wallpapers. These look pretty much like the stock wallpapers. Fonts. Sans. Very basic. Interface. Yeah. Administration. We've already seen DNF Dragora in action. There's firewall. Firewall configuration. Now, am I right in thinking that you actually have to open the port on the firewall when you install like a server application? For instance, like a web server, you would then have to go and open port 80 and 443. I don't know, I could be talking out of nonsense there, but on Ubuntu and Debian, the firewall opens by default. You don't have to mess around with it. Unless you want to specifically block out IPs, then yes, you do have to go and change the firewall settings in that instance. So I don't know what else to say, really. This is the stock Mate desktop. But I'm not sitting here reviewing a desktop, that was besides the point really. I suppose we're just seeing the level of what we're getting and the applications I chose, yeah, I chose to install the compis, I chose to install some basic Mate applications, which they literally are some basic Mate applications. It defaulted to Firefox as a web browser. I've got most of LibreOffice and for everything else, yeah, these are the basic utilities. What we get is a basic desktop. So memory usage has crept up. Yeah, that's fine. I've had a lot of applications open and it's been caching things, but yeah, no problem there at all. So what do I think about Fedora? Honestly, it was really easy to get going on my system. I had to Google a couple of bits, like how to install the drivers for VirtualBox, yeah. How to install VLC, yeah, that required a bit of Googling. But I'd imagine more on a day-to-day -day usage that once you've solved these problems, you well, you don't need to be concerned about how to install the applications again. You, once you've got what you want on the system, that's it, it's plain sailing. It's very fast and responsive, which would be more my day-to-day -day concern about distro. So yeah, I'm very happy with it, but would I switch from Ubuntu to Fedora? Hmm, dunno, I'm very used to what I've got. But thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.